What kind of a world do you want to live in? A world where women are subject to discrimination, stereotyping and abuse, all due to gender? A world where two-thirds of women workforce is comprised of women who only receive 10% of the world's income. Women produce 75% of the agricultural crops that feed the world. A world where women are beaten, stoned and publicly burned to death because of the mistakes that are made by the men. Violence against women is one of the crucial social mechanisms by which women are forced into subordinate position compared with men. We may think that women in civilized nations do not face problems related to their rights. But these actions and discrimination still do exist in such countries too. Would you stand to see your mother abused and oppressed due to gender, your sister, your grandmother, your aunt, cousin, even your friend? Will you protest against it? Absolutely yes, we have to. Unlike men, women should also get equal rights and women should also enjoy freedom as same as men do. Violence against women should be discouraged. Being a concerned citizen, it is our responsibility to safeguard the rights of woman and child. We should provide equal rights to women too. They too have the desire to live as men do. The rights of women and girls should be protected. Equal wages to equal work, basic sanitation, primary education and freedom to vote are some of the rights of woman and girl child. So in order to create a healthy and modern nation, we should support them to be a part of our society. We should value their ideas and thoughts too. We should conserve and protect their rights. As I said before, it is our responsibility to take care of our well-being of our mother, daughter, sister, relatives and even our friend too. If you are really willing to protect the rights of woman and girl child, repeat the pledge after me. I pledge to create, empower, mobilize and actualize initiatives to advance the right of women and girls around the world.